First up is the SA node. Now what the SA node is, is it's the heart's natural pacemaker and it generates spontaneous electrical impulses, which pass down these internodal pathways across both atriums down to the AV node. Now once it gets here, there's a slight pause uh, before it goes into the QRS complex. So the SA node is represented by the P wave on the ECG and that slight pause once the electrical impulse gets to the AV node is that flat isoelectric line before the Q wave. So once it does get to the AV node, it passes down the bundle of Hiss and it splits at the left and right bundle branches down to the Purkinje fibers and then it depolarizes the ventricles. Now what that represents on the ECG is the QR S wave. So once it's done all of that, the heart starts to repolarize itself to start that cycle again. Now while it's doing all of that, you'll see an upward deflection on the ECG, which is known as T wave. 